What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I made one of my absolute favorite meals of all time. Beef stroganoff. My mom has made this forever. It's like always been one of my favorite meals. I have no idea if this is like the traditional way to make it. I feel like it's probably not. Uh, a lot of people don't do the braised meat in theirs. At least that's the trend that I've seen. I've seen a lot of like filet, like big steaky chunks of meat on top instead of it being braised like this, but I absolutely love it braised because I love braised meat. It's so good. I wanted to kind of present it on top of the butter noodles like this, but I always mix my noodles up so that they're all coated in sauce. I have extra sauce just in case I need it because this is a lot of noodles. Pasta is so hot. I also saved some pasta water. P.S. How awesome is my new pasta pot? It's the Rachel Ray pasta pot. I've seen Rachel Ray cook with it forever. I've always wanted it. And lately, it's like I'm making all these pasta videos and all of the long pastas always like stick out of my regular pot that's like, I don't know if it's supposed to be a pasta pot. Anyways, my regular pot. And then like half the noodles are cooking, the other half of the noodles aren't cooking. Anyways, this pan is long enough so any long pasta can fit lengthwise in it because of its oval shape. All right, guys, I have a regular fork and a wooden fork. This has longer prongs, so I feel like this is gonna work better, but I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll try this one out and then if it's not working, then we'll move on to this one. I absolutely love to, you saw it, I shred up the chunks of meat that are in there. I just like use my wooden spatula to break up the chunks of meat because I like having like those little bits of meat throughout the whole thing. And it's still kind of chunky, like there's still significant chunks of meat in here but I like that there's like little pieces of it everywhere too. It's like stracciatella if it were a pasta dish. <laughs> it works, it works. All right guys, cheers and yay. The best ever. If I had enough room, I would eat. I would just keep eating this forever. It 
it's so good. What I love about it is you get that like rich, salty beefiness from the chuck roast. The red wine has this dry sweetness that it brings. Worcestershire sauce, chicken stock, like everything just comes together so, so well. And then when you add the sour cream, you have this like creamy, tangy element that just rounds out the flavors so well. I could just keep eating it forever and ever. I'm getting some like really good bites on this fork, I'm not gonna lie. happy right now this is like one of my ultimate ultimate comfort foods in that I feel so comforted by this like so comforted By the way, several of you have requested that I do a Q&A, so drop any questions that you have for me in the comments. I'll do this the next few videos or so until I've like gathered some questions, and then I will announce when I will do the video with the Q&A. I'll also give a shout out to your usernames, so anybody who comments a question, if I decide to use your specific question, then I will give you a shout out. So something else that you can do, I just added butter to the egg noodles, which I cooked to the al dente time, by the way. But sometimes I like to add chopped parsley, and I totally would have done that today and then added some like sprinkled parsley on top at the end, but I forgot. This is a hundred percent deathbed meal. Like I would have more than one thing in my deathbed meal, obvi. If you're allowed to have like anything that you want, is there a restriction on that for like literal death row? 
Is there a restriction on like, if I name like 25 things, would they bring me all 25 things? Is that a requirement? Where do they cut it off? I'd be like, three different types of mac and cheese, beef stroganoff, some hot dogs, definitely some sushi, lots of salmon, a few different types of chocolate cake. Probably some carbonara. By the way, I used organic lactose-free sour cream in this recipe. I figure, why not? I'm already gonna buy organic because I buy all, all organic uh, dairy products, meat products whenever I can. But if you wanted to do a lower fat, higher protein version, you could split it up, half Greek yogurt, half sour cream, all Greek yogurt, I will say it gets particularly tangy, like has an extra tangy bite with the Greek yogurt if you're just doing Greek yogurt. You can also do this with ground beef too, just for like a quick weekday meal. This took like four hours in the oven. Really depends. You can cook it anywhere from like 275 to 300 and it might take like three and a half to five hours, just depending on how large your chunks of meat are. My braising liquid went down a little bit a couple of times during cooking too. So I'll open up the lid and give it a stir every 30, 45 minutes or so. And if the liquid is too low, then I'll just add more red wine, beef stock, more Worcestershire sauce. That's really what's making up a lot of the sauce and holding in all of the flavor from the meat. You need something to mix with the sour cream. Otherwise it's gonna be like all sour cream. Mmm. So the original way that my mom made this is actually with the addition of canned soup. About halfway through cooking, the meat being in there with the braising liquid, she'd add a can of cream of celery soup and a can of cream of mushroom soup. That really, really helps add to the sauce if you want it like extra, extra saucy. My mother is definitely an extra sauce type of lady. Something I really love about her. But I decided on the canned soup I just don't like the idea of canned soup, honestly. If that makes me snooty, then so be it. I just don't like it. I know it has its place in some casseroles, but I feel like it's just simple ingredients that you need to kind of like recreate the same exact thing. So 
I don't know, I would much rather just buy the whole ingredients and recreate it than use canned soup. Love you, Mom. I'm like having a moment. <sighs> Easy pairing, the wine that you use to cook, you drink it too. And that's kind of a rule of thumb too. Don't cook with any wine that you would not willingly drink by itself. And for this, definitely something more robust on the drier side. This is actually kind of sweet, sweeter than I'm used to, but it's kind of the fun of it, right? The wine, since it's such a big ingredient, can play a huge role in changing the flavor of this. So if you wanted something a little sweeter, you could choose something that's more like Jammy. I've got my hair on a stroke. Off. I'll just add that right now. <laughs> yes, I have cat ears today. I love this hat. I feel like I like match with Butters and Oliver, maybe. They both have black on their ears. This is so good, but I am definitely getting full. A couple more bites. Plus, Shane's playoff game just started, and he is like gonna kill me if I don't wrap this up soon. Tom Brady just taking his winningness, goatness down from New England, whom I hated, to the Bucks, who I was indifferent about, and now like because Shane likes him. And now I just like feel like Tom Brady is that good. I might as well root for him. As long as he's not playing the Dolphins anymore. There's one more. Oh my gosh, it's so good, it's so good. All right guys, I am feeling stuffed. Normally I don't like to get to this point, I just really can't help myself, I mean, it happens. It's not something that I make a regular occurrence. I really like to stop when I'm feeling comfortable. I might just be a few bites past comfortable. Not terrible, but I might have some later too. Who knows? Just gonna make a day of it.
by the way, the reason that you twirl wine in your glass is not to smell it. It's to see the viscosity of the wine. So you can kind of hold it up and see how it's dripping down. The thicker the little droplets are, the thicker the wine is basically. So it kind of gives you an idea of like mouthfeel before you take a sip. I suppose doing this would help aerate a wine too. Alright guys, I gotta stop talking about nothing. If I'm done eating, I gotta get off with you so that Shane can turn on his game and go crazy. Thank you so much for joining today. I love you guys. You mean so much to me. Just super grateful. I feel very lucky because there's so many other muckpangers that I feel their comment section is just like a battle zone and I just am so happy that's not the case here. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below what you thought about this video, Beef Stroganoff, it's one of the best ever. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Comment below what other pasta dishes you would like to see me make next. And comment below any other thoughts and feelings you have. Don't forget about the Q&A too. If you guys have any questions for me, make sure you comment them below. And I will see you guys next time.